John Barrymore is part of an acting family dynasty. Now, he didn't want to follow in the footsteps of his older brother, sister, and mom and dad in the family curse of acting, so he tried to be an artist. He had a modicum of a success, but eventually ended up back on stage. In the year 1900, he appeared on stage with his father and his sister, Ethel. John Barrymore was quite the matinee idol on stage and was known as the greatest American tragedian for his Shakespeare roles, especially Hamlet. He was lauded by such luminaries as Orson Welles and Sir John Gilbert. Fortunately, at age 14, he started drinking and he was plagued by alcohol his entire life. He was also a womanizer and married four times. Now his third wife was... Dolores Costello. She was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and John's family is from Philadelphia, and she was also born into an acting family. Her father was Maurice Costello, and her sister was Helene Costello. They appeared in many silent films with their father, and her first IMDb credit was a fairy in the year 1909 in the film A Midsummer Night's Dream. She was a silent star in her own right, nicknamed the Goddess of the Silver Screen. Now, it was in 1926 when John Barrymore made the film Sea Beast, loosely based on the film Moby Dick. John Barrymore wanted to play opposite Mary Astor, but she turned down the role, so they had to settle for Dolores Costello. Uh, he fell in love at first sight, he said. The next year, they made the picture When a Man Loves. They were married, and they had two kids in the year 1930 and 31, Dolores and John Jr., respectively. Real original name, huh? But Barrymore left his family immediately to make some of the greatest movies in his career. Grand Hotel, he's pictured here with his brother Lionel and Joan Crawford. Fun fact, this was the only picture ever in Oscar history to only be nominated for one category, which was Best Picture, and it won Best Picture. Crazy. A Bill of Divorcement, Katherine Hepburn's film debut, and Dinner at Eight, in which he appeared with his brother Lionel again, and Jean Harlow. Eerily enough, in this film, he played a washed-up drunken actor. He did continue to drink, but he also continued to act. He had a hard time memorizing lines in motion pictures, so in the year 1937, he signed on with NBC Radio to perform Shakespeare. Very clever. He already had that in his head, and what he couldn't remember, he could read off of the script. His last film was in the year 1941, and it was the film Playmates, in which John Barrymore played himself. In 1942, Mr. Barrymore succumbed to kidney and, no surprise, liver failure. That's off to you, Mr. Barrymore. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.